Hi everyone, my name is Heather and I am the owner operator of Burner Babies and Iowa Yorkie Babies. Today, I thought I would show you um, my nursery and the nursery area. So um, we're still not 100% complete, we need some trim that needs to go up, but I'm pretty excited about the new nursery and I love it so far. So I'm just gonna flip my camera around and I'll introduce you to the dogs that are in here. We actually don't have any puppies right now. We have not had a litter of burners in almost four months and a litter of Yorkies in a little over three and a half months. So um, we do have puppies coming, but I thought, well, I'll show you the nursery now uh, with some of the moms that are expecting. So here we go. So this is Kaya and Capone. There's Kaya. There's Kaya. Yeah. And so Kaya is hopefully pregnant and due in the middle of April. No one in here is expecting, but here's Bowie, AJ, and Murphy. Yeah. Here's Kalo. She's due in about, oh, probably 10 days, nine days. We'll get her x ray probably tomorrow, see how many puppies she's having. Hi, Kalo. Yep. Journey, Maggie. Well, Journey and Maggie come in here. Come here, girls. Ah, there's Maggie. And there's Journey. Yep, so we have the puppies in here because it's. Uh, really close to our, it's like in our house. And so when we're not in the house, they can come out here to the nursery and then in the evening they can come inside. So it's nice. Uh, this is Moxie. She has been a little whirlwind, haven't you? As far as your due date, yeah. We thought it was the beginning of March. Now it's closer to the end because you're just crazy. Yeah, you were just a little crazy with it. And then here is Sunshine. Where's Diva? Dear Sunshine, Diva, 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 where is your sister? Where is your sister? There she comes. There's Diva. There's my good girls. There's my pretty girls. Ohana. I'm going to wait for Ohana to come in. She's outside. So actually, this is a really good um, picture right here of what our uh, Bernie's Mountain Dog whelping areas look like. So Ohana is due next week, but she could have them anytime if she'll come in. Ohana! Mama! Ah, there she comes. There's Ohana. There's my good girl. There's my good mama. Yeah. So this is Ohana. And her x-rays showed seven, maybe eight puppies. So, and like I said, she's pretty much due anytime she could have them. So the nursery is all, the nursery kennel is all set up for her. <coughs> and then next we're going to go into... Um, what we call our isolation room. So this is required by the state of Iowa that we have this. And right now, Theo is the only one in here. And he's actually not sick or anything. He's um, a house dog that has super bad separation anxiety. And so if he's not isolated, he gets destructive. So um, he gets to stay in the isolation room. But it is nice because, yeah, can you just sit down? Can you just sit down? So if... Um, we actually did need the isolation room for like a sick dog, like what it's intended for. We have a um, another run that's actually enclosed. So like if it's raining or snowing, Theo, get down. Uh, the dogs can go potty in there. <coughs> and then last, oh, so the purple door leads to inside our house. And then here is the Yorkie room. Stay here, Theo. So in here are our littles. So this is their bedroom. And they have their own bedroom because when I put the, I'm gonna see if I can get everybody in the shot. So there's Amaya, 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 Amaya. And there's Monkey, hi Monk, Monk. And Hales, there's my little Haley. Yeah, there's Haley. And there's Madeline. And there's Finley. There's our little Finley, yeah. So she is um, Moxie and Bowie's daughter. So we kept her because she was super tiny and um, she experienced some hypoglycemia when she was little. And so we decided to keep her. The family didn't really want to deal with the pressures of hypoglycemia. So we just kept little Finley, didn't we? Yeah, yeah. So she spayed. Well, pretty much everybody spayed with the exception of Maddie. Um, so this is just their bedroom. They have a bunk bed. Um, my former employee bought me this. It looks like a Maya and it says queen of everything. I, I feel like it's super fitting. And then we have some sayings on the wall here. I'm not sure if you can really read that. And then over here too. And then again, the green door goes into my house. So I'm just gonna kind of walk back through. Yeah, yeah. 
So they have the bunk bed, they have the their kennel, and then they have a um, this bed, which originally wasn't theirs, but the dog that was using it, you can see kind of wore through it and was getting too worn for a big dog. So we gave it to the littles and they get to use it now. So I'm just gonna go back into the nursery. Hi, Theo. So he's got um, stuff on his wall too. Um, that one. And then this one. <coughs> Let's go back in here. So then in this nursery, I don't know if you can, if you happen to read it at all, but um, it says, so God made a dog. So we have two heaters in here, one over there and then one on the other side. Um, the other one on the other side is also an air conditioner, it's just a mini split. So, yeah, so that's our nursery in a nutshell. I absolutely love the new nursery. Um, before, we had a similar setup for the dogs, but nobody could go outside. We actually had to let them out um, three or four times a day. And so it was not only inconvenient for us, but inconvenient for here's this pregnant mom with babies pushing on her belly. And you know, that's harder to hold when you've got a belly full of babies. So this way everybody has their own run outside and I just love it. So I can kind of tell you, I'm gonna flip the camera around again. So what we do in here is we clean all the walls. So you can kind of see the walls here. And then we have to clean the doggy doors because they're, you know, yucky. Um, we sweep and mop and things like that, clean out the dog bowls, etc. Um, so the dogs that have dog beds, their dog beds get washed um, probably once a week or once every two weeks, depending on how dirty they are. Moxie's probably our cleanest dog in here right now. And Maggie and Journey are probably the dirtiest. <laughs> they're so dirty, they're outside right now. But <clears throat> honestly, um, this nursery is awesome. There's uh, seven kennels in here. You know, I, I walked you through, we only really have four pregnant moms in here right now, two that are due pretty soon, and then one a little bit later, and then one even later than that. So it's awesome. If you have any questions about the nursery, let me know. This is a painted sealed floor, and then I don't know if you saw, but I like um, painted paw prints all over, so <laughs> I'm weird, I guess. So if you have any questions about the nursery, hold on a second, I'm gonna clean my, there we go, clean that lens off a minute. Um, if you have any questions about the nursery or burner babies or anything like that, I will be babies, let me know and make sure you like and subscribe below to uh, see any future videos. And as always, thanks for following me and thanks for watching. Bye everyone.